new sweats. Uh. Working hard, got two jobs, Friday night, but thank you, Lord, it's two checks. It's two checks, two checks. Yeah. Game of spades, being a flight, I'm talking 10 straight books, you got damn right, now who's next? Yeah, off my table. Who's next? Who's next? Yeah. Huh? I don't dance a boogie, somebody tell a DJ, put on my song, we grown and we want a two step. We want a two step. Uh, that's, that's, the the that's the new flex. That's the new flex. Yeah. Two step to this, two step to this, two step to this, two step to this. Everybody come on. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Worldwide Crypto and Gaming. I'm your host, Dragon Rider, and today is another Behind the Bullshit podcast, baby, where I bring on exciting guests, personalities, some of your favorite influencers, and, you know, we kind of do a deep dive on their beginnings and how they got to where they are today and some of the bullshit along the way. And right to the stage, man, we got Crypto Black Sheep. Let's go, baby! Love it. What's up, man? What's up? What is up, guy? How you doing? You good? How you doing? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, man. Just, just got off my stream, hopping it on, and, you know, I'm a little stream whore today. So, yeah, we're uh, we're just having fun. Um, All right, that, man. Thanks for having yeah. us on. I'm gonna share this. Uh, I'm gonna share this link out to my community, and we're actually we're actually simulcasting right now too. So. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we're out there on Twitter and all that good stuff. That's awesome stuff, man. Um, hey, so yeah. uh, their links will be yeah. in the yeah. descriptions below. So make sure you go and shoot them. Follow, like, and subscribe on all of their platforms. What we do oh, here. Yeah. Help each other out out here. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, man. Hey, it's great. Great to have you on the show, man. I've watched you guys for uh, for a while now. And <laughs> your show's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah? It's got a lot of cool, cool things going on, man. The guitar thing going on, man. Like, uh, <laughs> well, before we get yeah. into all that. Oh, uh, sure. Where are you from, man? Where are you from? Right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Born and raised. Nice, yep. nice. Here, so, almost, uh, almost, well, been, uh, you know, 40, I'll be 43 this year. So, yeah, been here a while. Um, started on the streets. <laughs> Not really on the streets. <laughs> I go, it was like, it's like, you know, I just, I, I had a normal, I guess, a, a normal childhood, you know, middle age uh, or middle class, uh, you know. Um, parents that you know you work hard for a living you're you're gonna you know you're gonna do well in life and um yeah, yeah I, I i hated school i i went to college for like a year and a half and dropped out i was like fuck this you know <laughs> gonna get stuck with all these bills um yeah <laughs> so but you know it's time for grass and i just started you know one dead end job after another um i decided um i found crypto and um I was like, oh, this is my golden ticket right here, you know, like Willy Wonka status. So, um, and it's been a fun ride, man. We've been, uh, our community's been around for, oh, there's Donnie. He's in. Yeah, there we go, right there. What's up, Donnie? Hey, what's up, boys? How we doing? Yo, I do apologize for my lateness. I've been uh, out and about this morning getting some business oh, done. So. He thought we, uh, he thought we ghosted him, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We love we love talking about our uh, in our project and then meeting uh, fresh new people in, in the space and uh, because I haven't seen you around like are you in the hex community at all or are you just talk about a bunch of a bunch of stuff or yeah um, no not not necessarily man I, I I'm I'm kind of I, I really limit uh, the 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 projects and stuff that I talk about um, especially after the uh, I've had one actually one on my channel so far that. Hopefully it never happened again, but I had one that uh, I was, I was, I got paid to promote and, and it rugged and wow. I have really, yeah. I have really limited. Yeah. I've really limited myself even further from that, from the projects that I talk about, you know what I mean? Cause yeah, I, no, I, really, I, know. That's a yeah. I was, yeah, we were talking about so much shit on our, on our stream over the years. And uh, yeah, I mean, we had a lot of wins. I mean, one of our biggest win was you ever heard of drip on uh Finance smart chain. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We got in the pre-sale. Our, our community just got lit, dude. I put like twenty grand in that thing. I was pulling within like six months. I was I was popping twenty grand a day, dude. <laughs> it was like crazy. <laughs> crazy win I that, ever that had, man. Honestly, was dude. the absolute peak of like BSC summer DeFi. That was just yeah. beautiful stuff. Yeah, it was. And like, I was yeah. I was literally down to the last twenty thousand dollars to my name because everything else went to shit. 
And uh, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'll give this a chance because I was losing my ass, losing my ass trading and trying to. Because I, I really wanted to do this for a living. I quit. I literally quit a seventy thousand dollar a year job and <laughs> set their computer back because I was working. At, I was even working at home too. <laughs> so distracting like i couldn't i couldn't focus because there's so much stuff there's always so much shit going on in crypto if you take a few hours yeah. off you you miss one day you can miss like, like a serious opportunity man and i've seen Absolutely. it happen i don't want to be that guy anymore so now i've been i've been job free for three years uh went from that twenty thousand, uh, you know built a nice bag with uh with drip paid off this rv i got a hellcat truck out there um you know community has been amazing uh supported me the whole time through all of our rug pulls and wins you know uh you know we got yeah. a pretty good community uh, we've been uh this is, we're going in our seventh year now so yeah donnie's been here so yeah man donnie, where, of- where are you from man oh dude so well i mean uh if you're talking about the accent australia right so uh, yeah no i i got into crypto since like maybe 2017 ish um you know okay. i've been with dj and protocol about two and a half years and basically i'm just the resident developer and builder um you know, anytime these guys have needed a a, a contract or a, or something written or some code checked out, you know, um, that that's that's been my wheelhouse. Uh, everything from the tokens that we've run, um, sheep first, and then goat token now on Pulse Chain, and then um, you know, the website, the Telegram bots that we have, all that custom in-house stuff. It's that's that's all me, man. That's 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 my shtick. So okay, awesome, man, awesome. So so what was were... What was your guys' individual? What was your very, very first uh, crypto purchase? Oh man, what, mine was a Ethereum Classic went to? for Coinbase. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I didn't even know what big. I, I'd heard about Bitcoin like like previous to this. Like you know, you seen all the news, all oh, Bitcoin crashed, and I never really gra- grasped the concept of what Bitcoin was and how valuable it really was as a as a um as a, as a store of value, right? Uh, because yeah. it's even more finite than gold, um, and th- th- you know, like, like I said, I lived in the middle middle class. Uh, you know, wh- wh- my parents went to work, uh, you know, forty hours a week, busting their ass for his kids in just normal, you know, you know, n- normal, you know, decent paying jobs that uh, you know they they never they never did the the trading thing. They never did the uh, they never even got into it, uh, you know, because they're afraid, you know, they couldn't afford the risk, yeah. you know. And yeah. couldn't afford the time to put into it. I made time for this, like, because I, I was in, I was on the band scene in Vegas, and we were one of the biggest bands in Las Vegas, and we, we kind of separated went our, 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 our ways. And then our, our singer actually just passed away a couple of days ago. And I oh wow! Lost a good friend. So yeah, it sucks. But anyway, where was I going with this? Um, yeah. So yeah. So Bitcoin, uh, I knew it was going to be great. Um, and uh, Oh yeah, so so I, I like I quit, and then I said like I told you I quit the job and stuff like that and just didn't, just want to do this full time. Yeah, I got so when the band separated, I had to find something because my my passion was to be a rock star, right? I wanted to be a rock star, yeah. but with crypto, with all these communities, I can still be a rock star, you know? Because I, I absolutely I write, songs, I write songs for the you know the Pulse Chain community. That's the only one I write songs for now because I ain't fucking writing any more songs <laughs> for another rug pull, man. <laughs> I know we're safe here. I know, you know, I, yep. I know, I know we're good here. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Donnie jams a little bit himself. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm a guitarist and drummer, you know, when I'm not doing the coding stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like Sheep and me, we play very, very different styles though. Like he's, he's more like, you know, pop metal sort of rock, like uh, punk, is it? That sort yeah. of thing. Um, I, I'm so... I'm sort of like a fusion between like country music and metal at the same time. So, okay, okay, yeah. All right, I heard that. I heard that, man. So, so what was our? So, what was your your guys' first rug pull? What was your first experience with that? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, so man. So when I got in 2017, I got in with when Bitcoin was like, oh my god. If I had known then what I what I what I know now, uh, Bitcoin was like 1600 bucks when I got in, dude. I bought a Bitcoin for like 1600 bucks. And I put it in this like it was like you know, remember back in the I don't know how long you've been in crypto, but uh, we had before we had DeFi back, back in like the BitConnect t- days you had like the Web two stuff where you'd have to send your money to to someone it wasn't a smart contract and, and you'd have an account balance of dashboard money and you get paid seven percent a day hey that sounded like a deal I was gonna ROI in like you know a couple of weeks and um, no that didn't happen <laughs> it rugged the world big lost the money and I lost like. Back then, I was working a regular job, so I mean, two two grand down the drain was like that hurt. But you know what? 
I said, you know what? This is, this, I, I'm hooked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. turning back now because I, I used to do a lot of gambling because I'm in, in Vegas, you know, like I, I used to gamble yeah. paycheck, you know, trying to hit that, hit that, uh, that win. And I've gambled a lot of money in crypto, but um, with crypto, there's like you have an edge, especially when you have a community like mine, because we have a lot of like we have everyone from uh, I mean, with radiologists to doctors to um, uh, we have a technical analyst in there. So our community has evolved so much um, that we don't really take any L's anymore. And, then we, you know, we we got better risk management now. Stuff well, that's like that. Thing, so like, I don't, I don't think I've. I don't think I've ever actually experienced a rug in the sense like that anybody says rug, right? But I've definitely experienced what I would call a shifting of the goalposts um, yeah. in many projects, especially in the DeFi sector. You know, there's there's a lot of projects out there that, you know, they get up and they, they start something really good, but then they like to fly that flag like, oh, we're DeFi, we're DeFi, you know? But they've got that many admin controls and, you know, like, you know, they got that much vision up the butt that it's like, are you though? You know, and then you yeah. and then they change the goalposts like, oh, but, you know, in the name of sustainability, this is what we're doing. And it's like, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> First it was the game. Now now we're doing the decks and now we're doing this. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. oh, now I'm right. I'm, and, and this is oh, affecting man. my health. So, so somebody else is taking over. And then next thing you know. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly all that BS. Exactly. <laughs> where are you from, Dragon Rider? Where are you, where are you at? I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, man, I, I I missed I missed the boat on uh, I could have got into Bitcoin back in 2012, uh, yep. very 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 cheap, and uh, oh, I, like like are. a lot of people like a lot of people at that time, you know, I was like I, uh, they, a few but few buddies of mine, they were like, hey man, we're gonna invest in this Bitcoin. Let's all put together. Hey, we're all gonna throw a, a thousand bucks a piece. We're gonna buy some Bitcoin. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, man, that's some fake stuff what is like i was trying to get them to explain to me i was like man that's fake i'm going on vacation what y'all talking about that vacation money that i spent if i would have invested it then oh man yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. But, you know it's it, i missed the boat on that and then uh i didn't really get back in uh i didn't find out about crypto again like i literally i was oblivious to it um even if because uh, I, I i was i was doing pretty good in stocks uh you know, and like I said, I come from a family like nobody does that. You know what I'm saying? I kind of had to, you know, self-taught a little bit and everything. I got into it, and I, luckily, I fell into a, uh, you know, a good crowd of of, of people that were were uh, that were around me and and kind of showed me the way a little bit. You know what I mean? But I did fairly well on that. And then some, you know, it's about the end of 2020. Somebody was like, "Hey, man, you ought to buy this thing. It's called Doge." And I'm like, "What is? What is that?" I like, he's like, "It's crypto." I'm like, "Bitcoin." Bitcoin, you know, so it's like everybody's response when you say crypto, they're like Bitcoin, Ethereum. I know that. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was looking at Doge with like five zeros on it. <laughs> <laughs> like how like, rich right. could have been if we had just known what the fuck we were doing back then? You know? Oh man, I'm just well, I got I'm in. I got in. I got in under. Just don't even take that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. And I was even then I was kind of like I was kind of skeptical. I was like, all right, man, I'll I'll throw a couple hundred bucks at this. So I bought it. I bought some some Doge. It was under it was right under like two cents or whatnot. And I man, I, I got as soon as I seen that thing going up, it was like five cents. And then it was like, you know, and I'm I'm one of those like, oh, oh, it's going to a dollar. You know, it's going to a not you know, yeah. not realizing oh, not understanding. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and I was like, because I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, man, this is because everybody around me, I was listening to, you know, the social medias and stuff. Everybody's like, oh, man, it's, it's man. When it hits a dollar, you're going to have this much. If you have this many tokens, blah, 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 this and that, you know, and of course, being a naive, right. um, I was I was right there with them. Oh, my God, it's going to hit a dollar. So but um, I ended up uh, I, I got lucky. And during the SNL episode, I cashed out. And luckily I did, because right like it was like things like was right in the middle of that uh, segment with Elon. Uh, it started to dip and I cashed out at like six. I think it was like somewhere around 68 cents. And I took that profit, bought Sheba, and then I rolled that thing up to the top. And along the way, I ended up uh, with Saitama and a few other ones. And really? I wrote, man, 2021 was very, very generous to me. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was yeah, it was good times, hey, though, man. 
Hey, fellas, um, I was going to say, can I jump back in here in, like, say, five minutes or so? I just got to drive yes, home and get on the big computer. I'm actually, I'm sitting in a car park on my laptop to catch this one, so. Um, <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. Yeah, yeah so we'll I'll see you in about, I'll see you in five minutes or so, all right? Yeah, yes, sir. Cool. All right, cheers. All right, man, so, um, so you know, you, you've experienced some 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 up and downs along the way, man. What, what would you say was, what would you say would be one of your biggest wins, I would say? My biggest win was probably drip, uh, but but at this time right now my biggest win is looking like uh, P Dye man. Like you want something like you're talking about, talking about the Moon Boy? Oh, it's going to a dollar. PI is going yeah. to a dollar, and I hope you you did you have grabbed a bag. Um, <laughs> I never shut up. I've been talking about it last July, dude. Like I I really I really feel it's gonna do. Really well. Are you, so you you said you said you're not even in pulse chain at all, or, or are you or no nah, man, uh any or like like nowadays I, I would say within the past I don't know, say six six to seven months, man, I've been I've been really uh, I've gotten into like leverage trading and stuff and I'm doing okay with that. Oh, and man. I'm really I'm really just doing uh like blue chips right now. Like I'll hop in some you okay. know, small cap stuff every once in a while, but um, you know, I I'm I made a real so twenty twenty like I say, twenty twenty one was was very, very, very generous to me. Um, I had a lot of wins and, you know, I, I, I'm literally playing with house money. So, you know, within the first three months, I was I paid myself back what I had initially put in, which was like thirty six hundred bucks out of my paychecks. And okay. within like I like say three months, I was able to pay myself back and I've been playing with house money since. And, um, yeah. you know, especially like the end of twenty twenty one. I mean, of course, I've had some losses, too. But, um, you know, twenty twenty two was was OK. And then I kind of really took a step back in 23 and, uh, yep. you know, right, right now I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of blue chipping it right now until I, I hop into some, some small stuff every once in a while, but you know, it's just, I don't know. My, my strategy right now is, is to keep, keep, keep what I have right right now for the most part. And, uh, I'm, I'm lowering my risk. Well, I'm, I'm still doing a lot of risk with, uh, with, with, you know, leverage trading and whatnot, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to really mitig mitig mitigate my risks with, uh, uh, messing with the smaller stuff, man. Cause you know, it's, it's, this is, man, I think the, the, the scams and, and the rug pulls and the, the, just the, the craziness has got is, is a lot worse now than it was when, you know, at, at the height of the last bull in 2021, you know, it was like, man, this yeah. is, Nowadays it's it's crazy. It's like everybody is, I don't know, man. It's like you don't know who to trust anymore. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's why we built we built our you know our whole community has been built on trust. Look at teddy bears ripping right now. If you're not like paying attention to Paul's name, I have to shove this shit down your throat because, like, yeah. and, and everybody out there watching because like die, okay, P die, okay. I was I was talking about this thing back back in July. I mean, my whole community's lit on it um okay. we got in somewhere down here i threw a majority of it up here and um i mean and i got my 20k out that i put in uh, and like i mean my my portfolio said 313 it's mostly p dies so so two hundred seventy six thousand dollars of house money you want to talk about house money and i've been yeah. go going on the same house money since since uh pretty much um uh 2021 when i got into drip i put that 20 grand in i've literally been able to sustain through uh different you know different uh in investment uh, strategies here and there and definitely on pulse chain like it just blew everything up because i was uh, it's such a roller coaster ride man and i don't recommend anybody just quit their day job and try to do this full time if you if you don't have a fucking you know, i'm still a nervous big, big, a big set of nuts dude yeah i mean but even you know and you gotta but, be in the right yeah. community yeah 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 i mean that too you know uh i don't know I, man i'm i'm still nervous about making that jump man like like i i i could be comfortable enough but at okay. the same time, I'm not, you know, I have a goal. Like I still have a day job. Like I'm, a, I'm an elevator mechanic. So, you know what I mean? It, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, I have a goal in mind that, you know, that, that I want to reach before I'm like, you know what? I am totally comfortable with this. I can, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, insurance and all that stuff. Like I could, I could step back from that. You know what I'm saying? It's, I have that goal in mind. And, and I, I think I, you know, unless something like really, really crazy or, or unless, you know, we, uh, Bitcoin goes up to, uh, to, you know, 150 K 200, you know what I mean? Like I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not there yet. Yeah. Okay. You know, how, how, how did, what, how did you get comfortable with, with making that jump? 
Um, it, it's a pretty easy jump, dude, because like, especially on Pulse Chain, man, we're looking at some of the biggest opportunities of our lifetime. Like that's what Pulse Chain is. Because right now, okay, so when I got into this PDI, just for for example, that's why I'm not like all my wealth is on Pulse Chain, not in blue chips, not any of this bullshit, because I know what Pulse Chain is gonna do, right? Um, yeah. I've known for quite some time when it was being created. So we, we had, I got in this uh, around like 4,000 X to a dollar. You have 160 X still, you still have 160 X, but the X's that you could have had, if you were, you know, paying attention to what we were doing, anybody out there watching our streams back in like July, I haven't stopped talking about this thing ever since. And it got all I, I had, a um, I had a hundred thousand dollars right here. And I, and I held, I diamond hand that thing all the way from what, what September, to all we did, all we did. it went from 100 grand to 16k right here right and wow. i just waited diamond handed because i wasn't going to sell it you never know where the bottom is and this is one of those assets you do not want to you do want do not want to part with i parted with a little bit that 20,000 that i sold to get my initial back if i if i kept it but it's always good to get your initial back you know you got to get you got to get your money back whatever but dude that's that would have been worth another 100k right now so you know and this is something you don't want to sell because they have a whole the whole ecosystem built around just you know throwing this. this is something you want to buy man uh not financial advice never financial advice but like nobody has has like we're at all-time high right now and nobody's complaining about pdi the whole community is excited i'm number 60 holder out of like 500,000 holders dude this is wow. this end game for me man i mean I, i've heard me. a lot i've heard a lot about pulse chain i just you know it, it's just one of those things i'm um yeah well, I'm doing well enough where I am. <laughs> that I, you know what I mean. But I, I will definitely, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, I'll take a bigger, right bigger now. look. I am telling you right now, when the, when this, when this SEC case is behind us, which he's gonna win. He, uh -huh. he already submitted. He's, uh, I think, in like either today or in like four more days. He's submitting a. Um, he's got twelve lawyers, and he's submitting a. Um, what is it called? An order of an order to dismiss, <laughs> like to the SEC. It's an order to dismiss, and in this order to dismiss is some information that says you pretty much need to just let this go, or you're you're gonna make yourself look really stupid. You know what I'm saying? Really? He's got twelve, he's got 12 of the best lawyers in the country that said, "No, oh, you got this." That's why all of a sudden all the movies, all the money started moving around. He was buying up ETH. He made a shitload of, of and all that money's gonna come back into into in a pulse eventually. And it's already been seen that he's already buying PDI. So or those wallets are um so this is a big one. You were talking about BTC, man. You know the rap Bitcoin is still still dirt cheap. Still dirt cheap. Yeah. I, I mean these are opportunities that, like even if it if it doesn't work out, you don't want to be the guy that when it does work out, you didn't you didn't pull the trigger on a what is this a, a 210 dollars Bitcoin right now? Yeah. Dude, Bitcoin was a hundred thousand dollars, and then the, the the company that that's on on this contract actually backs this. See, he cut out all the all the Maker DAO guys. He, when he we, when he created the uh, die and all that, he cut out all those guys. Like he has full control and the OA and all that, or whoever that uh, trophy ecosystem. They're all going to work together to make die go up. BTC is the only one that. Why would they rug it? You know, they have keys to it. They can do whatever yeah. the fuck they want because all these all these contracts are just. And um, all these contracts are just copied contracts, and and the owners of those contracts yeah. have access to those contracts, right? Uh, the private keys. So, um, it's interesting. It's interesting to see uh, what might happen. But you know, with great risk comes great reward. That's the narrative. I yeah. think uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of this. And when when Dai and all the all the other stables are moving up right now, when they get to a dollar, you're going to see all these PRC twenties. You're going to see Link, which is dirt cheap right now. I think it's like a few cents. What is it on Ethereum? It's like you know, all these companies are going to start supporting their coins because they see that yeah. this is such an amazing opportunity. They're leaving money on the table if they don't come ah. in here, back into the big liquidity and start pumping the shit out of this. So that's my 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 opinion about Pulse Chain. And that's why I'm here, dude. I'm stuck here. All my money's here. I'm trusting all my shit with RH. Um, he's, he hasn't done me dirty at all. I made the last cycle, I made a quarter million dollars just buying hex for, with my with my drip, with drip profits. Yeah. So we're in the right place, man. Real DeFi is where you want to be. And Pulse Chain is the best place to find real DeFi. You're not really going to find Man, it. I can, I can really, you know, you, I, you can tell just how, how passionate you are about this. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, you could. So so what led you to like to to, to do the, the the streamer, you know, type thing? You know what I mean? And and it's all because you could just be doing this by yourself and, you know, and not dealing with the headache of streaming and 
and community. So you could just be just a trainer. So what what led you to uh, to, to to get in front of the camera? Uh, just cause I, I've always been like, uh, like I said, I was in bands and stuff, so I, I didn't never got like stage fright. I was always just excited to get up and, and entertain people. So, and I, you know, I do a little bit, I do a little, a little, little bit of uh, comedy skits on the side. I, you've probably seen my shorts out there. Uh, so are, yeah, <laughs> I do the Instagram <laughs> like, like filters and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's fun, you know, um, cause I feel like if you're going to do something, do something different than everybody else, you know, have a different look, outlook. Um, and, uh, you know, not be in it all for yourself, man. Cause my, my shit's all about my community. I go, I come out here every day for my community. We do a, a lottery giveaway every time, every day on our, on our channel. So I give away a couple lottery tickets. You've seen the stream, so you've probably seen it. And right now this is round two. We've got 712 uh, remaining out of, uh, so we sold about half of them around two. It's taking a couple of months, but, uh, every day I give away, I give away two tickets and I buy one for myself. So that, that helps, that helps, you know, throwing, you know, throwing my own money in there. Cause Dude, my, my community is amazing and I like giving back and if it weren't for my yeah. community, like I wouldn't have the money that I have. I wouldn't be in the situation that I have. I'd be st still working a day job and not be able to put the time and, and, and energy that I, that I, that I want into this. Cause yeah, this is my passion. You know, my community is just number one. And I, I, I couldn't ask for it. <laughs> you know, and I started this like yeah. 15, 2017 with like five people. And that was back when BitConnect was around and, and like, <laughs> And we're, you know, we're, oh, oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> and after BitConnect came, just just rug after rug after rug after rug after rug. Like nobody could get it right. Nobody ever. And then DeFi came along and it, and it changed the whole middleman thing. But then yeah. so you got, then you got. It. It's very crazy. The, the faster technology evolves, the faster the scammers evolve too, because they're already out there, getting, yeah. you know, uh, hacking contracts and stuff like that. And then, Oh man, it has been a while, right? And to, to see like the innovation and just the the progressive the progression that we've we've made in just seven years in crypto in general, it's it's yeah. it's just crazy, dude. Now you got AI. This shit's just gonna get stupid, man. We're just getting started. Like half the people I talk to that I know in the real world don't even know what Bitcoin is, or they've heard of it, but they they don't know how to get it, you know. And it's just like yeah. that's the problem with the world, man. They they need to get it because our dollar is gonna be destroyed. You ain't gonna be able to buy shit with that. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. The dollar's on the decline every single day. <laughs> That's why I'm here, man. That's why I'm here. To just to say, hey, if I can do this, if I can make millions of dollars in just just a, a just a, a span of a few years, um, then there's obviously something here. You know, I, I didn't start off. I didn't start off winning. You know, I quit my job and had to go back like like three like three times. This is actually this is my third time quitting my job since I've been in crypto. Uh, but now I've been out three years. Oh. So. So milestone three and a half years almost. So, yeah, just fo wow. that's what you got to do in life, man. You got to focus on your passions, what you want to do, and not work. You know, like if you're happy with what you do, that's fine. But I, I don't see, I don't see like that's that's my time, and my time is limited on this planet. You know, I'm I'm already halfway through my life, and you look at the the world, man. Just just you know, they just work until they're dead, and I don't want to see the world do that. Especially when there's opportunities like this, man. You can't. You just can't, dude. I would feel bad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's exactly the reason why we're in this business. Like, clearly, at some stage, one of us thought, or, or like, we all thought at some stage, right, that crypto and these opportunities that are made in crypto can change people's lives and so that's why we put so much time and energy and effort into into what we do here you know sheep quite literally fucking 1262 episodes in a row today i think it is you know yeah. um every day you know and wow, every amazing. single day without fail you know this dude's had colds this guy's had life events he's been traveling halfway across the fucking countryside doesn't matter he makes it and he makes sure that the show goes on like you know yeah. that's um that's just the way it's done. It was just a hi. Look where I'm at. <laughs> I was in camping, camping in, the, in the forest uh, last time I think it. But uh, I, I really? yeah, the snow cabin. Yeah. What? Short and sweet. And uh, how, how do you get yeah, internet out there? I got a lot of plans, especially when Pete hits the dog, because I got like 40, 40 million of those things. And uh, yeah, if that if that pans out, man, I'm gonna be doing some traveling for sure. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Shit, we got a pulse so chain. How, uh, how, we got a pulse chain cruise coming up in September. A cruise ship. That sounds like fun. But. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, how, how do you get the internet access in these remote areas, though, man? What's that? How do you get uh, uh, internet access in these remote areas? Um, I can get Starlink. I've got T-Mobile home internet on mine, so I can. Uh, it works in like major cities, and it works. 
okay. decent in, in between. But, uh, yeah, I need to get Starlink if I want to really do some serious traveling. But that won't be shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So, so uh, I mean, has there ever been a time when, uh, you know, in, well, especially, you know, as streaming and stuff like that, that you was just like, you know what, this might be a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I mean, like today, I feel like, man, fuck this. <laughs> I, did, I did like a two-second like two short, man. I was just not feeling today, man. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I had my girl over the last few days. We've just been partying her ass off. So this is the one, I think this is the one I had today. I'm going to play that one. Okay. So it's the one, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, keep that teddy bear and hit me out. Don't give a fuck. All you have is time. You should have a teddy bear. I had the music way too loud. I forgot to turn down the volume. I was like, fuck this show. Yeah, that's what I put out there. Yeah, that's what I do. This is what I do like every day. I just do stu- stupid, like I do a stupid short in the morning. Um, so I'm the only one out there doing it. I don't see anybody out there got the balls to just get crazy like I do, you know. Um, it's cool, you know, people enjoy it. I get a lot of comments like, you know, just keep doing it, keep doing it every day. I enjoy it. Like, they, like they literally get on Twitter every morning just to see my shorts. <laughs> what <I'm gonna> say. <laughs> Well, so what what led to the creation of the shorts, though, man? You know, the, the uh, engagement, for more, uh, engagement, uh, and more uh, more subscribers to the channel. Because I don't know if you know it or not, but live streams don't don't actually pick up the algorithms as 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 well as uploading an actual uh, yes. video or shorts. Shorts actually get a lot yes. of. Sometimes they'll go viral if if you're in in the niche that. Uh, um, I've had a lot. Like I've had a lot of days with with like four hundred views, four hundred views, you know, a thousand views. On my uh, on my shorts, especially when I get my Hellcat out there and I, I do a short on that, um, those get a lot yeah, of yeah, uh, definitely. My my shorts way outperform when anything. You I'll, a, I'll... Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. When you can create yeah, a pattern be... of like people watching your shorts and then being led to the other content, like it just yeah. creates more like you know click through to conversions. So yeah, and YouTube really sucks anymore because uh, our engagement on YouTube came down, but our but on X it shot to the roof, dude. So we're actually getting double wow. the viewers. That- on X now than we're even getting on YouTube. And I think it's just because, I mean, people are just, uh, people realize like, I, I don't even go, I, I can just stay on Twitter and then I can watch, watch the stream. Cause we can sign with it. We're on there right now. I don't know how many, uh, how many you have. know, an un- underrated, pro- uh, an underrated, uh, 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 platform that, uh, I've been getting a, a lot of, of activity from is LinkedIn. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I heard LinkedIn you, is a good one too. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. would be, very very surprised and not only that but uh uh rio uh rio has in not i mean that has in, increased my analytics on on not just my uh my youtube but uh twitch as well oh, cool. i literally for, for for two years i had um for two years i had i literally had four i had four followers on twitch for like two years and since yeah. joining with rio like i'm i'm about to hit 60. you know what i mean and it's only oh, been cool. a couple months so, I don't you know what I mean? on, on Twitch, dude. I, I just pulled that one off. I just downgraded the account because I had I was running like two Facebook accounts. I was running Twitch, Twitter, and all this shit. And then, um, yeah, it, I just I just picked the the best ones. The ones the ones we get the most engagement on are uh, are YouTube and, and X. The Facebook people are all the no coiners because they're all the ones that I grew up yeah. with um, in school, right? So they they don't. Yeah. But a lot of them have come over, and I have changed their life, and and I'm like. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I have like three thousand people out there just living their normal life and they don't even pay attention to what I'm doing. And like I'm over here, I'm about to get rich. <laughs> These people are like, <laughs> glad to see it and it's just like, but I love inspiring people, man, because I literally lived in a shed four years ago. I was all drugged out, you know, get uh, going down the wrong path. Um, yeah. Still have my community though. Still have my community. They never gave up on me, so I never gave up on them. And and then boom, here we are. You know, like sh- it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. So, really I mean, what, what is that like to have, uh, like, you know, have, especially like even just friends and stuff just around you and, and, you know, they, they kind of don't support what you're doing, you know, they're, and they're just standing by the way, like, ah, oh, you're wasting your time. They don't really look at your stuff and see how successful you're becoming. My friends are the wow. ones right here in my community. On, on the, like, I, I, I go to wow, breakfast Mondays, Sundays. You know, I have my family, dude. That's it. Because 
everybody else is doing their thing and, and it's it's it distracts me from doing my thing man there's a lot of negative wow. energy out there there's a lot yeah. of people that naysayers that just say they want to do something and then they don't ever do it so yeah i don't have time for that man i'm, I'm showing you what i'm doing with my money and you can come join us if you want i'm not going to chase you down um i know what i'm doing so and i what about you Don? I think, yeah what about me? What's up? Yeah. Do you have uh, what you do? You have uh, like friends and family around you that you know that 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 aren't kind of like listening to the advice. You know, they're just like, oh, you're wasting your time. Oh, right. Like, no, no. See, I'm I'm actually the polar opposite almost. See, over here, my friends and family that they like to look at me as the concierge of crypto. Um, what? <laughs> 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 that's, my, <laughs> that's amazing though you know what i mean because even even with my you know my own thing like i don't my family is just they don't really you know understand what i'm doing and stuff like that and even my business yeah. partners and everybody i met over I the mean, web i met through this fair, you know like, what i mean so the yeah. way that my family sort of got exposure to it is like because i actually like have my home office right here like in my bedroom downstairs but because of the way that the house is laid out right and because i'd speak loudly uh most of the time it just sort of echoes through the house so over the last two and a half years of me doing amas and talking in voice chats and just all that sort of thing they've collected yeah. like a, a master class level knowledge of crypto just passively listening and i'm like <laughs> i feel so sorry for you guys <laughs> I wish because my wife t my wife turns the TV up on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is it, it's it's really good, you know. I mean, because at, at least like there are people out there who will you know listen to what you got to say and they will take on board the the advice that you give. Like, um, you know, I, I'm very much like everybody else here. I won't tell you what to do with what you've got, but I will yes. tell you what's worked for me in the past, you know, or I will tell you what's working for others right now, you know. It's yeah. um yeah so no but it, it, it's all good fun i love it so what what kind of opportunities have have, have you guys uh, uh uh you know acquired or whatever through through you know all of this you know crypto and and uh youtube and stuff man um well this stream right here <laughs> oh wow okay yeah, we, we actually said, I mean, been networking a lot man when the pulse chain tour came came to las vegas i, I got out there met everybody I, I i go to those every time they come out here because i feel like you know i show my face on on on, on the screen all day but uh it's a different yeah. vibe when you meet people face to face especially the keyboard warriors man because they talk all this shit, yeah. and then you meet them face to face like oh hey black sheep yeah yeah so, wow, that's me. So, so I mean, you know, uh, and like you just said, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, people out here just throwing a lot of fun. So, like, what's what's some of the worst stuff that people's ever thrown at you? Um, usual shit. You go, oh, Black Sheep's a scammer. Yeah. Okay. Well, scammer, <laughs> scammer really gives away money every day. <laughs> wow. Is that, does that I, affect I, you I, in any type probably, of way? And Probably I didn't get paid on anything, of any, anything in this ecosystem we created, dude. Fair launch. Yeah. Like, that's, that's not scammer material. <laughs> That's exactly yeah, one of the things that we highlight is that, like, throughout all of this, everything that we've done, um, you know, sheep doesn't take a pay. I don't take a pay. You know, none of us get paid for what we do here. You know, everything that, you know, the heart, the soul, the effort, time and energy that's all put into this is just out of love for what we do for the fact that we know we've built something fucking great here, you know? Yeah. Um, Sheep especially with, like, you know, like he said, he's had his community ever since day dot, you know, and they've stuck with him and, and endured the ups and downs and all of that, you know? And, and then I've had some brilliant opportunities come along as well, you know? Sheep literally gave me the yeah. opportunity to to stand up in front of his community and be like, yo, this this, this is how I code stuff, you know? They've been wow. you know, good things. They've yeah. been bad things, but yeah. you know, I, I do credit sheep with uh, with a great deal of you know. Th there's a lot of people I wouldn't have met, a lot of connections I wouldn't have made yeah. had it not been for being yeah. you know, developer of DGen protocols. So that's what know. our community is all about, man. We're very well respected yeah. in the space, and uh, we've got lots of opportunities, like lots of big like people come on my stream, and, uh, and a lot of people won't know about us yet. You know, like so. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, the biggest opportunity was just just uh finding the the hex community dude because that community is ridiculous wow. dude like if you ever like been to one of their i don't know if you've ever you've probably never been to any of their meetups man but that's when you get the true vibe of everything that richard hart's preached you get really down to earth smart fucking people that that really know where this is going and really understand 
uh, DeFi and and um, and the fact that it's just it's 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 better than Bitcoin. Hex, you know, Hex is yeah. Hex is gonna Hex is gonna do some crazy shit, man. Especially on Pulse today. Like it's just it's the calm before the storm. People don't understand. This is one of the best financial instruments ever created. It it it, it literally has the capability of taking down banks it's so it, it can be so big you know because like their cd is going to be worthless if you can put it if you can put it in this crypto yeah CD and make, you know like that that's the and then pulse chain is just brilliant brilliant like at yeah. first i was like it, what is this man this is garbage because everything was like like wrecked and um but yeah it like it just blows my mind dude. especially when i i, I saw pdi really cheap and i was like all right so if the narrative is is all these PRC twenties are going to eventually find their way to parity with with the Ethereum counterpart, which is going to do it first? Probably the one that, that Richard Hart loves the most. He had two hundred, he had two hundred seventy something million dollars on, on Ethereum. He's the, you know the sack the sack wallet was the number one holder of uh, Dai on Ethereum. So that led me to believe that you know wow. he probably has some uh, some love for Dai. Plus all that like if you got on the rabbit hole of P Dai, dude, it's going to a dollar because there's so much shit behind it already pushing it to a dollar like um uh there's uh there's all like the maker dow contracts and like you can go down that rabbit hole man there's the everything that that um richard hart did he did it he did it strategically that's why he that's why he locked those contracts up so so maker dow didn't have access to the to the pi um uh, in, in, anymore it was it's and it was and all this all the stuff he did was like building tools in the background to eventually get this thing to pay so and I know yeah. the guy from Tropa is probably buddy buddy with him. You know, that's just that's how uh, Richard Hart is. He, he he knows a lot of good good people in the space that want to just want to see Pulse Chain just destroy everything. And that's what's gonna happen, man. I'm telling you right now. I've been calling it for I see since we sacrificed, man. I was saying this is gonna be the biggest thing we've ever seen in crypto. It's gonna take a little bit wow. of time. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. It, it's I mean, it, it, and. One thing that really helps, I guess, is, is you know, especially with a, a community that backs you and stuff. And, and you know, it, I didn't I haven't experienced that yet. You know, maybe I, I, I'm definitely going to be in the community and and checking things out a, a little bit more deeply now. But, you know, from my experience, you know, I, I've just I've seen so many toxic communities and uh-huh. been through them and been through them. And, you know, what I mean, I don't really I don't really hang out in in you know chats yeah. or anything like that anymore because you know i'm just tired of the of the garbage you know you know yeah. like it, even oh, you know so, some of these yeah <laughs> you ever want to come hang out there man it's, it's really chill we literally just talk yeah. about paul shane and, and what's not what's not we get got wrecked on a couple of salon plays it was fun you know <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so, yeah hey, hey Saul, Saul, Saul's been, been, oh man, it's been kicking for me a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. There's, I, I, I pulled 30 grand out of that thing the other day, but, um, nice. but then, uh, I ended up, put, I ended up putting a little bit more in and, and, and last night I was like, fuck this for now. I'm just going to send it back to Paul. <laughs> Honestly, man, I wish y'all the best of gains, but to hell with Solana EVM or nothing for me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. The thing about oh, Solana you know though is it, because it can handle a lot of volume, dude. It, it's mm. pretty incredible. With that, with I that will thing. give it that. The, the the transaction per second throughput is just absolutely insane. Yeah. Like. And that brings me back you know, to what, what do you what do you think what do you think is going to happen if Pulse Chain gets that kind of volume? And we've already seen the dump volume on Pulse Chain. The gas prices oh, went man. you know flying. They didn't go to like Ethereum prices, but they're still no. pretty uh pretty up. There. But I mean, from from what would usually yeah. be a forty eight uh, PLS transaction in gas went all the way up to like you know 274 pulse for that for yeah. that same transaction in busy periods i'm like jesus wow you, were, you know it was like it was like 12 dollars to to do the um the nft distribution or oh <laughs> shoot it was too <laughs> yeah and we yeah. we um yeah we'll have to have a chat about that after as well because like i said there's yeah. some better ideas about how we can improve that for everyone that i want to discuss too so yeah, yeah. i think EVMs are great I do think that every EVM inherently has a scalability issue, though. Oh, yeah. And the great yeah, thing about no, it, absolutely. is it started off with such a massive supply that it was already, you know, started low, low price point, low gas. Mm-hmm. When, when Pulse Chain gets to a penny, a dollar, we're, we're going to be, we're going to be paying those, those, those Ethereum prices. But you know, at that point, we won't care because we'll be just like the ETH whales that don't care. <laughs> those, those ETH whales, they, they throw in millions of dollars. They don't, they don't care about the gas, you know? 
That's their shit. Well, that's I mean, that's, that's why a lot of people, you know, that's why a lot of people made that shift to uh, to, to Soul right now, you know, because, you know, it's super, super cheap. So yeah. a lot of, a lot of uh, the DJ and stuff just hopped over there, you know. But at the yeah. same time, you know, all the, uh, the the scammers that was on BSC and, and um, you know, and ETH, yeah. They all hopped over there too, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and know, it's, it's crazy because you know tracking wallets, man. You you get to you you get to see that that a lot of these uh a lot of the same scams ran by a lot of the same people. <laughs> yep. They just oh, rinse man. rinse rinse and repeat. You know what I mean? And I just that's why you know for the most part I, I've I've just kind of uh, I do do a DJ and play every once in a while anymore, but for the most part. Man, I'm just yeah. I'm, I'm sticking with with my trades and stuff. You know, I, I don't know, yeah, man. It's just you can't go wrong with blue chips. You're gonna make money, man. But I mean, like you know, like Pete, I already pulled a three thousand X, dude. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Yeah. That basically means, name one coin in this entire crypto space this year is that is that's done um, three thousand X in less than a year. I I don't know of any way. So so pretty insane what's happening on the blue chips. You know, from me to you, brother, because I love you. Get get you at least at least one of the one of the Bitcoin. Or, uh, you know, get you a million PDI because it's, it's going to be a dollar, you know. And that brings us back to, okay. uh, do you want to share the screen again? We can explain to you a little bit about how yeah. our ecosystem, we do have PDI integrated in there too. So yeah. back to the lottery. So the um, the lottery, yeah, this is, when this sells out, someone's going to win a thousand bucks. We do it for a couple of reasons for, for uh, community engagement. I like this stuff. And uh, I like this little addition here. This is my, this is kind of my idea. I threw at them. And we actually, because uh, this this used to build up in dollars, uh, okay. from the die that, that came in here. But we we modified it, Donnie, didn't we? And now we have we over did. a quarter of million dollars. So if you believe in PDI, you believe in the narrative of pulsing, you believe this thing's going to a buck. We have two uh, a mega jackpot. We call our mega bucks, uh, two hundred sixty five thousand dollars. Dude, somebody's gonna win that someday. You know. The lottery um, application, it was designed so that it touches like all, all the different aspects of our protocol, but it also plays two different style of game. Uh, you've got like your random ticket draw up the top there, and that's what uh, keeps like adding more to this uh, mega jackpot as well. But then the mega jackpot was kind of like a, a Powerball inspired type thing. See the control okay. down the bottom there? It's got the five spaces and then a green button next to it. If you go ahead and hit that green button, see what happens next to number five there. Yep. That little plus. Yep. There you go. See that? That's another row of numbers. You can add as many rows as you want. You can take rows away. But that's basically a, uh, you know, pick numbers between 1 and 20. And if you get them right in the right order, then, uh, yeah, the p die jackpot wow. becomes yours. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I bet that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> I bet that, that that's, that's, you know, the odds of that is, is a lot better than this jacket so, than, than uh, the let's say uh, let's put let's put it this way it is going to be one hell of a trick to try and like get the right sequence because just having five random numbers alone between one and 20 makes the odds fifteen thousand to one but then the way we actually twisted it further is you have to have the numbers in the right order so the odds are even like you know oh. more than that. ah yeah they're, they're, yeah right <laughs> You could yeah. have the right yeah. numbers, but if you don't have them in the right order, one through five or whatever it is, then you know, yeah. sorry, try again. You know, so yeah. yeah. But yeah, but even then, you know, the, the the odds of that is is still a lot better than uh than, than our, well, our rigged uh, lottery system we got going. Exactly, on over here. And, and that's precisely <laughs> it. You know, I mean, it, even that those those odds are what a billion to one. You know, yeah, but you crazy. see how many people flock to the counters and like all buying their tickets, like, oh, today's gonna be the day. You know, yeah. and and that's just it. Like, oh, man, it's like it's like how how, how just what, doing better. What's the odds of 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 two different people coming in and buying the exact same ticket at the exact same gas station? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, what? <laughs> how does yeah. how does that even work? You know what I mean? Like that, that's the numbers for that would be astronomically crazy. Yeah, that exactly. to even happen, you know, and it's just, I mean, there, and there's so many other, you know, just, just, just BS that, that yeah, well, I can go on for that, but yeah, man, just, <laughs> sorry, I just had to throw that in there. That's, yeah, and I, I, hate, good, our, I hate our lottery. <laughs> yeah, understand. Scams in our face. <laughs> the one over here is just as bad, you know? Is it really? No. Yeah, it really is, you know, it's, yeah. Anyway. What? Oh, you mean, oh, you mean in uh, Australia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the one over here is absolute trash. Yep. So yeah, we can talk because uh, we haven't actually introdu introduced goat token yet. You've heard of it probably. 
Yes, I, I have. have. I have heard of Goatopia. <laughs> yeah. So you're on BSC and you, you're you're aware of Elephant Money and all that. Yeah, go ahead, Donnie. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So um, yeah, basically, uh, like Sheep said, if you've on if you've been be on if you've been on BSC, you know about Elephant Money, then you know. And what you'll sort of gather uh, as we explain the ins and outs of our ecosystem here is that there is a lot of pieces that we've either borrowed, forked, or or had mentored from uh, Beck Teller himself. Um, but there is a lot of our own custom stuff on top of this as well. So we're going to start from the top and go with Goat Token. We'll run through the feeder, um, and then basically, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. So first and foremost, okay. Goat is a fork of the Trumpet contract, right? Um, basically, uh, we changed it up so that the we have Goat Token, right? And it is backed with W Pulse, right? W Pulse is the wrapped pulse, and so thus it's an ERC, it's a ERC twenty compliant token. So we've got uh, that token in the middle. Goat token can only be minted with the correct WPLS being deposited as collateral behind it, right? And whenever you redeem Goat, which can be at any time without encumbrance or restriction, there is a there is a, you get W Pulse out. Right now, on minting and redemption of goat, there is a five percent fee on the amount of W pulse that is handled, um, which helps the mint redeem price to only go up. And the thing about the goat uh, contract is that it is programmatically set so that the mint redeem price can only go up. That price that you're seeing in the middle of the top row there, one point three seven nine eight, that price only goes up and to the right, can never go down. Right. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's basically the core yeah. of it. As people mint yeah. and redeem the, the token, that price travels up ways. More single asset backing is locked into the contract because of that 5% on the way in and out. And so basically, um, GOAT naturally rides on top of the shoulders of Pulse and will naturally keep going up in that value uh, as Pulse progresses too. What you're seeing on the right hand yeah. side of that 1.3302 is the current price of GOAT on the DEX. Right, that is against PLS, and so what you can see because those two prices are different is that naturally there is a certain spread between the two. People like to arbitrage this. There is no buy sell transfer fee on Goat Token, only mint and redemption. So when that spread gets big enough, right between that that mint redeem price and the dex price, people can either then mint Goat Token and sell it on the market, pocketing some free pulse. Or they can buy goat on the cheap if it's lower on the decks, and then they go redeem it again, pocketing some pulse, right? But okay. overall, because people are hitting one of those two actions, either mint or redeem in either of those sequences, that's why the mint redeem price keeps going up. Ways we keep gathering single asset backed liquidity of W pulse, um, single asset backed liquidity. I like to shorten it to unfuckable with liquidity, right? Because that's basically what it is. Um, you know, I like that. It's resistant to third-party manipulation simply for the fact that it is, you know, stored yeah. in one of our contracts and single asset backed. You know, it's not paired in an LP like it can be, you know, traded and flash loaned against or anything like that. It's it's literally just holding up the backbone of the ecosystem, um, which we think is incredibly important for everything else that we've built on top. You yeah. Know, when uh, Pulse was up, we had uh, over a million dollars in liquidity. Yeah. And then we wow. had on, the, on this exchange or on uh, uh, Pulse X, we have uh, 35k. This was like 50k, but this is going to bounce at some point. Yeah, it's going to bounce exactly. when it does. Since we don't lose our PLS value, we just move right up with it. You know. Yeah, and see, I you know I I, I, I like that because you know I, I hate seeing one of the biggest things I hate seeing is is a uh, a project where it's like yeah yeah we you know we we hit a 10 million dollar market cap and you know they only have like 40k and and, and yeah. liquidity, you know what I mean? It's like, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> that, 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 that kind of project is the same one that lists CG and CMC listing as some kind of an achievement. Yeah, that's on the roadmap. I hate that. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, I hate that. I hate that. Oh one. man, you, you see that, and you just know that something smells, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I tell people all the time, I was like, I'm like, that is not. You know that that shouldn't be a goal. You know what I mean? You, no. You can, that's... and especially for like you know like when when you know <laughs> you take a dev, you get a dev that's taking uh you know marketing money funds and and paying for this fast tracking and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's big waste, and a lot of community. You know, I'm not saying yeah. the post community, but uh, some of these smaller yeah. communities that don't know any better, they don't understand that. 
you know, you're paying somebody to create a bot to create fake volume to get on there. But then when the volume's gone, it's gone. You know, you get delisted. They don't track you anymore. And it's like, you, yeah. you know, the project ends up failing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, when, when exactly. I see that. When I see that, especially when it's like, oh, you know, Q1, you know, listing on CMC CG is like I, I, I instantly turn off. I, it's 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 a strictly DJ play for me. I don't care how serious they may be. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah, like I said, helping. yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Because because uh, unless you unless you meet their requirements, I don't care who you. And even sometimes when you when they pay someone, they don't get well, listed. Because they still, yeah, they're yeah. still not meeting the requirements. Remember, Donnie, we didn't have fifty k in uh, volume per day, so they they removed us from because we were on Coin Market Cap at the time. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that a while back. We uh we yeah. managed to achieve it, and uh, that was actually way back on Kronos, of all things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But then, yeah, no. See, and that's the thing. It's um, you know, what what I'm trying to point out is that, look, those are great things to have because they do help people to find relevant information about a project, but yeah. that shouldn't be a focus point of, Hey, look at us. We managed to do this. It's like, yeah. Okay. whoop de doo You managed to spend money on a useless endeavor. You know, let's, you know, I just think that there's a lot more that projects can do to be better than that, you know, and, yes. and, and people need to stop settling for such low standards. It's the, the only reason why that continues to be a thing is because people continue to play ball with those low achieving standards, you know, but anyway, I, I think for, I think for the main part, the reason, the main reason why is because, you know, they, they still think this is uh two, two, you know, two years ago when, you know, anything could list on coin market cap and, and just, just, you just get these God candles and, you know, people don't realize that, you know, the state of crypto and the crypto industry is it's not the same as it was, you know, two, three years ago. It's it's changed a lot, you know, and, oh, yeah. and those old tricks and, and trends don't work anymore. I mean, it's just take anything that's listed on CMC lately and and how many like take a you know, for anybody, take a good hard look and how many have listed and have received any type of of crazy volume or God count or anything like they get listed, they may get a little pump and, and you know, and it's, it's nothing because then the, the communities, you know, or that are full of just people that want to see that, that big candle, they don't see it. So they're like, Oh, well this project's dead and boom, they pull, you know, they sell their tokens, they pull out and then the project's yep. dead. That's it. You know, yeah, Look, it, it, it is one of those things, but you know, like, you know, uh, let, let's, let's keep moving on. Like, you know, that is one of the things that we, uh, that we looked at once, but you know, like, uh, I'm just trying to highlight, you know, we, we've got much bigger ambitions for our community than, yes. you know, some site listings. Yeah. So, yes. um, I want to jump onto the feeder tab, but before we do, um, do you have any other questions about goat before I do? Cause like, I want to make sure we're covering everything here. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. You're doing, you're doing great. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very um, <laughs> let's uh let's get onto that feeder tab then and i'll run you through how that works okay, cool. all right so feeder is basically a fork of the elephant money uh futures contract i believe we forked it at version okay. four um so basically what it is is you chuck money into it you chuck die into the feeder and you get awarded 0.5 percent daily based on your current balance in the feeder right um so let's say you have what is it uh let's say ten thousand in your current balance what's that is that 50 100 bucks a day i, I don't know my math is off today fucking yeah. basically 0.5 percent daily on that there yeah. we go thank thank you sheep um yeah 50 bucks a day on on ten thousand, basically provided that you're not claiming against it right so mm -hmm. basically you let that 0.5 percent amount ride and the idea is that you're building up a nest egg right you're you're depositing into this thing um you know possibly more frequently than you're claiming from it but the way that it works is so that next time you do come to get a claim right it's bigger it's it's more full it's got more value and it's designed to snowball over time right what happens when someone puts die into the feeder is that 90% of that die is turned into W pulse, which then mints goat token, right? And, and minting is the important key part there, right? Because mm -hmm. remember how I was describing before that every single mint and redeem pushes that, uh, that mint redeem price upways. It can never go down, right? 
The fees that yeah. are involved with that is what also helps to back when we do need to redeem against it. So 90% of the dye that comes in gets turned into goat and stored in something that we call the goat pen, which is basically just like a large treasury filled with goat that backs everything in the feeder. Um, as goat continues to appreciate in value through both minting and redeeming and through third-party cycles on DEXs and other utilities, obviously goat goes up in value independent of goat feeder deposits. So later on down the track, come day 200, when people are reaching the point where they could ROI, we will have the extra, the extra backing in goat tokens so that when they redeem against it, right? You see the die buffer pool there, it has 13,000. That's where the other 10% of the deposited die goes. That's the service quick claims theoretically okay. if people claimed enough against that buffer pool then what happens is that the goat pen gets redeemed a little bit against um to the value where it can serve as a claim and top up buffer pool again and it just gradually uh pushes back against that goat pen as it needs to um and only as required the overall yeah, effect what... is that whether you're playing with w pulse and holding goat directly or whether you're building a nest egg with stable tokens like die we have something for both seasons bull and bear yeah and um when uh pdi hits a dollar i'm dropping a million dollars in the uh buffer pool because we're going to switch this whole thing over to pdi too <clears throat> yeah because right now it's, right now it's using die from ethereum okay but when we but we obviously rather use the the native asset um absolutely yeah um, so. yeah yeah I, I can definitely see the benefit of that yeah. Man. So then, this, then this is going to have a, mil, a million plus dollars in it. There's probably only going to be a few hundred thousand dollars deposited, and that means at that point that nobody can can withdraw anything big enough to actually even take anything out of the out of the the go pen for a long time. So the go pen is going to get basically bigger, bigger. becomes a perpetual battery at that stage. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is pretty. Like, how how did you guys come up with all with with with, with all this, man? Because this this is um, very very detailed. I, just, I, oh, honest answer or, or what public other friendly answer. Doing <laughs> just watch what other people are doing in this space, watching them fuck up. And then, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, that yeah. honestly is actually one thing I will highlight as well. Is the, And this is how we've managed to get to this point, right? I, um, you remember I mentioned, like, when I first come on, that I've been with these guys two and a half years, right? Yes. Um, yes. That's a long time, right? Especially, you know, for anyone to wait for something. Now, through my development curve and, and journey with DGEN Protocol, basically, we've had a lot of different ideas, right? We, You know, we have had thoughts about, well, why don't we do one of these protocols or one of these tokens to try and bring something in? But the unique thing about it, I, I, I like to, I liken the way that we do things at DGEN Protocol to what's called the Apple approach, right? You look at the things that Apple do with their products. They are never the first to market with something. They are never the first, but they always come up with something nice and clean the following quarter. They've come up with a refined version of something that Android did a quarter ago or whatever, right? The Apple approach yeah. is never first, always refined. And so like Sheep said in, in the wow. most eloquent manner possible, ah. you know, we, we've watched projects stand up and fall over on their face and, and go absolute tits <laughs> up and all that sort of thing. We've been able to sit on the sidelines and observe how not to do things so we can bring the best to our community. You know, um, patience has been a key part of all of that. Um, yeah. but also just having the right kind of people around, you know, um, people yeah. who are interested in the long game and actually building something that works as opposed to, Hey, let's have a nice high APR and nothing to back it. So, I mean, yeah, I, I had when, when people come out with, uh, uh, oh, we, we've got a 3000% APR, you know, the, the, but little do they say that, you know, they can't, they can't maintain that. Yeah, <laughs> well, exactly. they can't, it's not sustainable. So, at all on the on the 16th um this uh this will be running for uh what five months i think or six months uh yeah uh, six months it'll be on yeah in 11 days yeah, we'll have been running this for six, six months. months this thing's been running playing 0.5 percent a day and people are playing it right you know they're doing their their three weeks compounding and their one week withdrawal or they're just letting it right like me i haven't I, I withdrew a little bit i withdrew like 800 bucks um at 11 at 11k I'm, I'm in, but i've already built it back up to 12 12 4 you know putting 200 dollars nice. in here you have to put 200 dollars in to start it and you have to put 200 dollars in the compound so what that does is as we go through the market cycles 
every two hundred dollar compound is is a is a is another deposit. It's another it's another investment that the goat pen our ecosystem holds on to for price appreciation. We get a ten a hundred X out of it. Uh, each yeah, each of those two hundred dollar bills, dude, is going to be ridiculous. Um, so let's say let's take for example, like you know, a let's take a ten k balance for example again, right? You know, let's say there's a ten k current balance, and you've got like maybe five hundred and fifty dollars in your earnings that's building up there, right? You've been letting it sit there for a while. So when you go to deposit that two hundred bucks to compound, you're not just getting the five fifty, of course, right? You're, you're actually adding seven hundred and fifty then to your current balance, and so then the ROI would then be based on sorry the daily calculation would be based on ten thousand seven hundred and fifty as opposed to ten thousand right and so that's why we encourage people to compound in that way and why it's actually set to have 200 deposited each time because the way that this application builds its sustainability is through the regular deposits you can't turn a tap on and expect the water to last forever right yeah. you have to put something in the bucket to keep it running so yeah. you know and, and that's really what it teaches people is that yes this can be a beautiful sustainable nest egg but you got to play ball to make it work for you and for everybody else yeah and we're wow. not you know we, we're keeping an eye on the numbers we have we have an analytics page that people can go to to see, see all the stats of course pulse is down right now so we did get a little bit of pullback on the um on the treasury value but when pulse swings back up uh because the the one we've we're kind of taking a little bit of a dip in is, is a buffer pool that gets loaded up as new people come in we're not really our growth hasn't been that fast but at the same time i didn't want it to be outrageous anyway you know i, I felt like this is this is more something for our community and we talk about it and if people want to come join us on this on this on this uh adventure then you know you're more than welcome to obviously yeah, i think uh, slow slow I think slower growth is more sustainable anyway, because, you know, when you get uh -huh. all that hype and and just you just you you get that initial pump. And then like as soon as it stalls, you know, then people are like, oh, OK, well, this is dead. And they go out. So I, I really think, you know, for longevity of, of any project, I think, you know, that that slow yeah. and steady growth is it was way more beneficial. Yeah. And our end goal here is not uh, um, not to just build a product. We want to we want to build a quality product that it is basically rooted in the pulse chain ecosystem i mean it gets all its value from pulse if pulse does some crazy shit like if they, i think it's going to this thing can literally print out for years we're not going to say that, that it's it's going to last forever because i don't yeah. think anything will last forever um and still be worth the shit <laughs> you know but what, <laughs> what we want we want as, as a vision what me and donnie had was just to make sure that this was the first roi product that was ever created they paid 0.5 to 1% a day and nobody loses any money because it's already taking the, the Ponzi aspect out of it because of the fact that it's holding, it's holding real, a real world, you know, real value asset um, called yeah. goat, which is backed by PLS. And when PLS rises in value, you know, that's, that's where you're getting your money from. Not just new people coming in because we, we don't to have consider as well to consider as well that there's we're, all we're, the we're other collateralized, you know, Way over. There's all the other moving pieces of the ecosystem as well that help GOAT token to grow, not just PLS, right? We have all the phenomenal yeah. things out there on PLS that, that give that volume and action and all, but even just things yeah. like the lottery tickets, for example. Every time someone buys a lottery ticket, there's a small amount of that fee that ends up buying, sorry, minting GOAT and throwing it into the GOAT pen as well. Every lottery ticket that's sold is helping the feeder to gain more collateral. Um, yeah. Every time someone mints or redeems, it's pushing up that value, meaning that when someone calls in to cash out later, they can, we'll have the value, you know? Um, yeah. it, it's literally, all, like I said earlier on in the stream, the whole point of everything that we built here is that everything you see in one way, shape, form or the other touches goats, mint or redeem functions to keep those two driving. Because then regardless of whether users are depositing into feeder or not, there is still the value growing behind that one day we could pay out, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, you know, the, the big brain game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and it just goes to show that, you know, you guys are, are, are more than just, you know, it, you've really, really heavily invested in this yourselves. You know, you, you've put you've taken, yeah. the, taken the time and you've taken the money to make sure that this is sustainable. You know, I, I see a lot of the times, you know, and, and that's the problem with a lot of these uh, quote unquote other uh, uh, devs is that, you know, they'll 
they'll they'll launch a token with like a thousand dollars in liquidity and like and and I'd to leave the rest like leave the rest up to uh to the to the to the community the, to the communities you know let <laughs> me actually say something my good sir so that's that's actually something really cool is that we didn't actually have anything out of our pockets to throw in either that like this is all really? community driven we built the tools we built the website the contracts the the telegram bots the everything that the, that the community needs but this is all community bro this is not what? like you know we didn't I'm start going away right now like I, seriously this is our community looking at what we've done and being like yeah this is our home this is what we do you know and, and it, it's it's all our people you know that there's no founder shares there's no founder liquidity nothing like that you know we don't take no paychecks you know no funding was given to us to build anything you know this is all just 100 percent genuine for the community and by the people oh, yeah. wow <laughs> I'm, I'm serious like like I'm, I'm speechless like that that is just you don't see that you don't you don't ever no. see that no not really I mean, and, yeah, I mean, especially like, and still well, having we, this success. Yeah, we had, you know, just, yeah, we had, yeah, we go had ahead. Go ahead. Success, right? We had some pretty killer success. I'm actually surprised, you know, because our first project, uh, the sheep token, uh, it never name a coin after yourself. It's a curse. So <laughs> but it, was our training, it, was our training, it was our training wheels to get to the point that we're at now. You know, we made some mistakes. We learned from our mistakes. Um, you know, and all in all, you know, our, our community, our community is very happy with, with the direction we went. Once exactly. Paul launched, and we we just started brainstorming for a minute. We're like, okay, so we see what he's doing over here, and it's working on BSC, and BSC is a shit network, and it's not going to do that many games. Uh, I don't think it's going to do any of the games compared to what what Paul is going to do. And uh, we haven't we haven't to catch the bottom, dude. Like we launched, like we couldn't have timed the launch. Uh, any more perfect than, than we did, dude. It was, there was um, actually even a couple of weeks before we'd even started development where we were kind of encouraging him to take first mover's advantage. But then eventually uh, there was sentiment said like, you know, oh, no, I'm going to focus on my stuff. And so like, sweet, we're going to do it. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, we launched yeah. here October 16th. So yeah. We got, we got the bottom. And yeah, That's we got it. a little wow. bit. You see how fast this thing moves when it moves, man. That's going to get yeah. eaten up quick. So it's just wow. all about patience. I've learned so much patience in the, in the last few years, dude. I, like 90% of this is, is patience and and just. Uh, yeah, and, and that's why that's why I'm so surprised and shocked, man, because, you know, you say this is pure community, and most of the time, you communities ain't patient. <laughs> no, they want to see them thousand hey. They want to see them thousand X, so they're out. Yeah. One thing that I can say is that, like, the, the community definitely knows what patience is. I mean, like, what was yeah. explained to me when I joined Agent Protocol is that there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of those who are from the hexagon space there. So, you know, one of their core values and things that's drilled into them very early is the whole delayed gratification sentiment, you know. So there are yeah. some out there who are more attuned to, to waiting for the bigger thing. Um, but, yeah, no, the community's patience, especially um in waiting for me as well like i'm i'm by no means the world's best developer i'm you know i'm still de definitely learning the chops of of how to be up there with the greats but that's one of the things is that the community has endured and stood behind is the the continual evolution of of my developments and and my capabilities you know i forever in a day i owe gratitude to everyone who's ever gotten behind dgen protocol for that you know um yeah. but yeah that's that's basically where it's at. I don't know if you heard about the NFTs that we got. Um, these oh, are, these that's the other component. Uh, I was go, I was yeah, just getting get ready to ask you about that because that, that goat is dope right there. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that thing's dope, man. So so what, what what's happening with the NFTs? Let me look. Five hundred thousand P uh, PLA. Yeah, go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So yeah, like she said, uh, five hundred thousand PLS a piece. Um, you can mint as many as you want. You can buy as many as you want. But what's really cool about them is that every 500,000 500, PLS that we take, right, we gather that up into a pile of 32 million. So 64 NFTs minted or sold equals 32 million pulse. And we throw that over to David Feeder at validatorstore.com. Um, shout out to him as well uh, to run validator node stakes for Pulse Chain. So basically, yeah. the NFTs that we have brought here 
are an effort to lower the entry barriers and the technical requirements to help and to participate in the decentralization of Pulse Chain. Remember, the more stakes, the more validators that are running, the more decentralized the network becomes, the less reliant on one source that becomes to confirm transactions, keep the network running, etc. But not everybody in the world has, you know, five and a half grand just for the stake alone. And then the extra couple of grand for the computer equipment, the networking, the internet service, all of that stuff. And then there's the yeah. technical know-how of making sure that your shit doesn't go offline so, you, so your stake doesn't get slashed from validating. You know, all of that technical stuff, we just bundled up and said, yo, screw all that. Let's get a professional in to help us and let's lower that entry barrier. So basically, we created the NFT series as a way for people to join in with that, you know, and it's been a roaring success so far. We've had, like it says there, 26, uh, 2,600 and a bit um, NFTs minted. Um, you see there's 115 of them listed right now, and I'll explain what that is in a second, right? But basically, the images that you see here are artificial intelligence, uh, obviously generated images by, and was originally started by our community member named Mr. C, who showed us all how to do this. But there Big was- Shout out think, to Mr. C. Yeah. Um, there was in excess of 5,000 images generated <laughs> in a short time. Um, yeah which we've put onto IPFS and attached to these NFTs. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice little uh, embellishment on what is already um, a, what we think a great addition to Pulse Chain. You know, we really want to show projects that they can do meaningful stuff. And, you know, knowing that Pulse Chain is where we want it to be two years ago when we started our development curve, you know, we just felt like it was right to do something that helps Pulse Chain as well, you know, not just ourselves. Yeah um and the validator nodes are the, are the best way to do that um final yeah. thing that i'm going to mention on this one and, and run you through really, really quick is the items listed so you can see there's 115 there and this is where we differ from most nft projects as well when you mint an nft you look at it you know you stake it and and look i'll, I'll be forthwith and say you know that the validator stakes they produce variable rewards, which we do share out through the NFTs, right? You hold an NFT, we distribute the rewards. Um, you get to claim part of those rewards as GOAT token from the amount of NFTs that you hold. Now, if by some chance you're not happy with your NFT, or if you don't like the design that you have on the image that you get, or something like that, scroll up a little bit, please. We have a listing feature where you can, re you can list your NFT for resale right so what that means is that when you list it for sale and someone else comes along and says hmm i want to mint one of those nfts let's say there's some items listed they read they buy those items first before fresh ones are minted which means that the person who listed the item gets 480,000 pulse worth of goat in their pocket the system takes 20,000 pulse worth of goat fee that again goes to the goat pen and basically then they are out of the system the nft is resold to someone who wants it that person gets their way out and the way the queue works is on a first in first out basis so if you list and your 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 item number 100 to get resold you know 99 of them roll through and then yours comes up bang resell wow yeah so yeah. <laughs> our, our entire ecosystem is 100 percent liquid at all times you know, you're not locked into holding, you know, what some will eventually, you know, say, oh, it's just a JPEG. Well, no, it's not a JPEG. You know, yeah. this is a legitimate liquid piece of a very robust ecosystem. So, yeah. wow, last few, man. Last few months were just the four that I, that I got. Um, so it was about, what, uh, two, two million? I've got uh, 26,000 or 24,000, but there's more, there's more rewards and stuff out to get released too, so. Mm -hmm. What, 24,800 goat? What there is you that, go. Uh, 24,800 goat. Let's see what that's worth right now. I remember that uh, I think it was like 60 bucks per million back then. So, yeah, I'm already at uh, uh, $3.17. There you go. Like said, nice. We said from the beginning, this is not going to get you rich overnight, but this is consistent, you know, revenue you're getting. When the pulse and volume goes to yeah. the roof, the, the payouts are going to be huge. Yeah. And that's, uh, exactly that's, it. that's the difference yeah. between DJ plays and, and investments, man. But investments are always like long term plays. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's that, that, that's, that's just 
but you know a lot of people don't understand that you know when the, when they see one red candle they're like oh my god it's it what happened who uh the project's uh, dead you know it's like oh, hey uh, god, Chief, i'm really sorry man i gotta go thank you very much guys i appreciate i appreciate your time yeah so that's basically the gist i mean we got uh, we got something else we're working on in the background uh yeah. with cause if he gets it running um, it's just like a, it's kind of our own version of, uh, of, uh, Titan X, Euro Titan X, right? So, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're going to do a modified right. version of that. And, um, if we, if we, if we actually do it, we're, we're going to watch for a couple months to see what these other guys did. And that's basically what we do. We, we, we watch to see what they did, where they made mistakes. If we can improve on it, so we don't want to launch a garbage, a garbage product, but. If we can improve yeah. on it, then uh, we'll be bringing Goat X to the ecosystem. We'll do lots of testing first, and but we don't have okay. to. Have it. I mean, we have we have a great ecosystem already. But the 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 barrier entry to get into the feeder is a little high because you know it's two hundred bucks to get in. But but yeah, I mean, if we come up with something something that can make make you some some quick money, then you can put it in that as a, as a nest egg. And yeah, we're just super excited, man. We've we've had a lot of a lot of good success. It's just. Just check along, and you know you can see the numbers. Um, it's yeah. not really, it's it's, it's not really uh, getting uh, phased at all. Uh, like the treasuries are just chilling. So you know, we got yeah. we got somebody in there with like fifty, sixty thousand dollars he deposited. He's pulling out like three thousand a month or something. So wow. Like, uh, yeah, don't even phase it. So yeah, and thanks for everybody. I see all, your, all the comments out there. Thanks for everybody coming today. Yeah, thanks absolutely, for having us. man. So. So there, there's 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 always two questions because I you know this is called behind the bullshit. There's two questions that I always ask my guests. So okay. there's there's a couple different points in in your career, right? Where um, it's some bullshit. It could be positive. It could be negative. It, you know, one of your positives could be you know, hey, you know what this this was kind of some bullshit, but you know what it actually helped, and I got into a better space. And then there's other times when you go through some bullshit and it was like, you know, this fucking sucks. Um, I don't wish this on my, I don't wish this on my worst enemy type of thing. So what would be a positive moment in, you know, in your career? Um, a positive moment in, in my, in my crypto career. Yeah. Well, something, something, something that was like, it was like, yeah, this kind of sucks, but you know what? It, it actually helped me in the long run. Oh yeah. I mean, well, I mean, every time, I guess every time you get rugged, you get a little bit, you get a little bit smarter about about what you're getting into, right? So okay, yeah, I get yeah. that. Okay, yeah, definitely. I'm not, like I'm so dumb to, to the rug pulls anymore. If I throw something in something, like I, I, I pretty much kiss it goodbye. You know, I just hope <laughs> it but you know, I don't try to just throw all my money into a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah, everybody yeah, buys usually... for buying for buying pee dye, and now I'm fucking. <laughs> I get over four million. <laughs> okay, so what what would be your negative? What you know over the course of you know even just you know it doesn't even necessarily have to be crypto. Something that negatively that you've went through that was just you know what is is this sucked and I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Um. Yeah, I guess. Um, Like, yeah, uh, that goes back to just like, just safety. I mean, I, I, I I've been pretty blessed, man. I, I haven't had any <clears throat> any huge catastrophes or hacks, or had any of my like money like straight stolen out of my wallet or anything. So, um, I've had a pretty you know even, even losing. I've I've had a pretty good good time in crypto, man. I, I it's all positive to me, man. I just made this a way of life, and it's just it, it is yeah. the way it is. You, you will lose money at some point if you if you stay in it long enough. If you think you're gonna win every time, it's just it's not it's not gonna happen. But those those losses, so those negative moments, just they they, yeah. make, they make you a better person. I think a better investor. Okay. And I like sharing that knowledge with, with my people. If I see anything that's fucked up, I'll big shout out and uh, and talk shit about them on the stream. So. <laughs> yeah. so well, that's good, man. Yeah. Because you know, especially especially man uh, these days and and these these. Yeah, it, it's the, with the scams running the way that they are, and it's it's 
not just you know back back you know it was kind of just focused on a uh, bsc but now it's like on every chain man and you know uh you know us coming out here just you know having these discussions and and giving the the 411 on you know scammer scammer tactics you know even just pointing out some shit that looks funny you know it it it, it helps you know it helps community members you know and, and and eventually you know especially once you know mass adoption comes along you know uh, it's it's going to help everybody coming into crypto because you know it's going to be they're going to be look you know researching oh what is a scam or, or why is this scam happening you know what i mean and it's going to be this type of information that's going to come up when you know to to help that help guide them into a, a safer uh crypto journey so to speak you know yeah. so and it's yeah, awesome man, that I you give that stuff out man <laughs> yeah man you see all these youtubers out there like charging like some like information is free man you just got to know where to find it i've done all this myself i taught myself everything just watching youtubers and just and just making my own mistakes along the way you know yeah. you're not ever going to get it right the first time you know but i would say like i'm on my way to be a multi-millionaire and it's only been it'll be seven years in may that i've been in crypto so that's a pretty good you know I, i'd say that's a pretty good um pretty good uh re reputation or um uh, on my resume or whatever you call it yeah so yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, the fuck, who the fuck like dude if, if pi hits a dollar and i'm sitting on 44 million dollars dude who the fuck else is i don't know anybody else that has done it you know for basically free because i already got my money back yeah so that's yeah. what that's what i'm looking forward to man that'll be the biggest positive that i'll ever have in crypto and change, I've changed so many lives over the years, man. But this is the time that we all just, we hang up the towel, man. We're like, we're done. We fucking won crypto, you know? Because we bought a stable coin <laughs> at zero. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's what I think Pulse is all about, man. And that's the spirit of Pulse Chain, and that's the narrative, and that's that's why I won't yeah. stop talking about it. Man. And that's all I talk about. Like, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't leave, like, I, I, I tell people specifically every day, stay on Pulse Chain. Do not fucking sell Pulse Chain. Um, and you know, stay off Solana. I mean, you can make money over there. I'm not telling anybody to do what, do what you want to do with your money. Yeah. But you yeah, but if some, you ain't got DJ and money, don't be doing DJ and shit. <laughs> and get in the right communities, man. Because uh, you know, I hate people seeing go. Oh, I went on this community. This community got got rugged or whatever. You know, we don't have this shit in our community. We have well, I mean, it's not even just that. You know, a lot of some of these communities, man, are just just purely toxic. I mean, as soon as you hop mm -hmm. in or as soon as you make a buy, they're like, "Oh, this one made a buy," and then as soon as you go to sales, like, "Hunt him down! Where's your yes. fort knife and pitchforks?" Yeah. You know, like thing. Yeah. It's like what? You know, like yeah. it's, it's, it's. That's why my my, course, my public. I don't give a shit. I I will sell a new head and, and I'll say, "Yeah, thanks for the money." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, but, but yeah i mean like i just don't get it man i don't sell shame people um because you never know somebody's situation if they needed to sell it uh because they cheated it off or they needed to sell it to you know to put some food on the table or something you know sometimes exactly. people do invest more than they than they, than they they should have and they need to take their money out you know that's what we're here for we're here to make profits and the cycles are all are all made on 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 losers <laughs> you know you have the winners yeah. the smart levels you have the ones that got dumped on at the top and then you know it's it's funny because like i've had so many of those guys that just come and buy the top and they're like i'm done with crypto fuck this well yeah i never give up man i i heard that Seven a lot years. man but like i say i mean but a lot of that comes with education too just you know yep. people acquiring acquiring the knowledge to to know what to look for and even yeah, look right. you know not not even just knowing how, what to look for as far as you know scams and stuff but knowing what to look for as far as like honest legit projects and stuff like that you know it's just it's just one of those things that you can't do it without knowledge and that's why we're here man giving out the knowledge yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're definitely doing well over there everybody's welcome to come over anytime uh djm protocol on twitter djm protocol on, on uh, telegram and yeah thanks for having me man appreciate it absolutely Thank man you. yeah man i appreciate you man i really appreciate your time man this has been awesome so what would be what would be one frame yard of all places <laughs> yeah yeah hey, for those that don't know man hey i reached out so Streamyard has this like community uh thing yeah. for like connect with other streamers that type of thing mm -hmm. and and um uh he was one of my suggested and i pulled him up i messaged him and he was like hey yeah man come join the community check it out and this and that and everything and yeah. and we finally was able to link up yeah cool man 
That's awesome, yeah. man. That's awesome. That's what it's all about. So what, in, in closing, what would you, for any new investor that's coming into the crypto space, what's one piece of advice you would give them? Oh, um, it goes back to just join the right community, man. If you're going to get in the crypto space, join my team or join his team, you know, honest people that aren't, aren't just out here for themselves uh, because they'll lead you into a lot of things with their ref links and they'll, they'll, they'll try to make a whole shitload of money on you and just dump on your head. Um, yeah. You know, just try to be in the right, right community, man. Cause like we're, we're the place to be. Um, I'm not saying we're the greatest community. We're definitely different. We have free speech. So if you don't like what somebody says, sorry, just deal with it, you know? Um, Cause there's a lot of fucked up things in the world that we think people, people need to hear about. And, yes, uh, absolutely. Don't be, don't be a sheep. Oh, there'll be a black sheep, right? We go against the yeah. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just um definitely get some knowledge. Don't just jump into a salon of meme coin and think you're gonna get rich because you're probably not. Um <laughs> and if you do, if you do, if you if anybody that does that, they they throw in two hundred bucks and they make they make a hundred thousand or something, I guarantee you they're gonna lose it within a year. Yeah, because yes. they don't because they don't they don't value what they have. <laughs> right. Right. I remember my first 10K and I lost it. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> that was a learning lesson. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all about, man. You have $100,000 and all of a sudden it's gone, dude. You're like, wow. It hurts. But I mean, yeah, I've done it so many times now, I'm, I'm, I'm immune to it. But anyway, man, I'll get, let you get on with your day. Thank you so much for having us on. And um, absolutely, yeah, man. Welcome to come to my stream anytime, too. Just see me up. Yeah, absolutely, man. Hey, I'm all about I'm all about collabs, man. It's just, that's how we grow and network, you know what I mean? But yeah, hey, uh, I, I, I appreciate everybody that came uh, to, to check out the stream. This is the Behind the Bullshit podcast, and uh, it's only a couple months old, and I've had some great personalities, and this has been another one of those great personalities and conversations. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, Next week, like I said, I do this every uh, every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. And then I do my Rio Wednesdays at 8 p.m. EST. Uh, this has been brought to you by the North American Collegiate League. It is an esports and entertainment organization that hosts video game tournaments and league play for university and colleges, offering scholarship prizes. And as a broadcasting company, NSDL streams and uploads matches, uh, provides marketing opportunities for the organizations and sponsors. And so if you have a brand that you would like to get into the esports realm to sponsor any type of team or whatnot, whatnot Definitely give playnacl.com uh, a look, man. We're doing great work, and uh, all of our money goes to uh, the kids uh, for scholarships and stuff like that. So it's it's been a great thing. Also, and uh, also brought to you by Links Crypto app. It is my app. I am COO of Links Crypto app. It is a DeFi portfolio viewer. It's free to use. There's no token. There's no NFT to buy. Uh, all you do is copy and paste your wallet address, and Links will automatically populate all your tokens associated with that wallet across ETH, BSC, and Polygon. And there's no swapping. There's no uh, There's no swapping. There's no DEX or anything like that. This is purely an organized window into the blockchain for your viewing pleasure. And Lynx also now has available uh, our WebSocket API and node services. So definitely check that out. If you are a developer and have a DEX or anything like that, you will want to check this out. We do, once you sign up, uh, there is a free version for you to just test out with. And then from there, I'm gonna tell you what, we are way cheaper than the competition, offering the same data, if not better, and more accurate. So I just wanted to say that. And this is also uh, brought to you by Rio.Stream. Rio.Stream, uh, definitely, definitely from my own experience, uh, Rio has is helping smaller content creators out there get more uh, uh, ex exposure. And also uh, when you are tipped through Rio, you get 100% of your tips. So it's great for, for up and coming uh, content creators. So anytime you have five or less viewers, you get featured in Rio. It's a great thing, and you don't do anything different. If you stream to Twitch or uh, YouTube, it automatically uh, goes to Rio. All you do is attach your account, and it's there. Check it out. Rio does a lot of great stuff. And, uh, yeah, so with that being said, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you every, thank you every for everything, all the time, all the watch. Appreciate everybody. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make, if you haven't already, make sure you shoot this guy a follow on all his socials. Uh, make sure you check check out DJ Protocol. Uh, it is some some great stuff that they're, they they got going on over there. You already heard it. If you missed it, rewind the tape. Check it out again.
That being said, I will see y'all later. Thanks, brother. Spits out of me, you better watch out if you ignite me's a road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, through the system, I don't wanna be a slave.